Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. In this episode we are going to take a look at the extrusion multiplier. This is a setting that you can set from within your slicing software and where you can determine how much filament there is going to be oozed out of your nozzle. But really, what does this setting do? Well, let's take a look. So we're here in Simplify 3D and here you can see I have this box that I'm going to print. And this is a test object just to show you guys what's going to happen. So here I've got this box and I've set it up with three types of process settings. Normal extrusion, under extrusion and normal again. So this is what I use to see what's going to happen and I'll show you guys what's going to happen in my print. At first the first 10 millimeters of this print will be printed in normal extrusion and normal extrusion for my printer I've already calculated this will be 0.9 extrusion then I'm going to print 5 millimeters of height in under extrusion and this under extrusion is going to be print at a lower extrusion rate and then we're going to print normal extrusion again so then we'll see a block and that block will show you what happens when you're going to under extrude. So let's take a look at this setting and at this print. So here you can see my printer is going to print this part and it will also pick up some debris it's found and it will drop it off uh, at the corner. So well yeah that happens but just forget it for now because it doesn't matter for this print. Um, as you can see here the walls are building up and what the slicer does for you is it, calcula it calculates the amount of filament that has to be oozing out of your nozzle. So when you set a multiplier on this calculated value then this multiplier will determine if there is less or more filament oozing out from the nozzle uh, at the point of the print. So what you can see here is that for the first 10 millimeters I used the normal setting uh, and then I used 90% of it. Then at the second part I lowered it down to 70%. So when this print is 10 millimeters up and you can see it already happening, then it starts printing at 70%. And you can see this in the shine on the left side of the print. Uh, where you can see that it, it starts to become less shiny. And then when it's 5 millimeters high again on this value, it will start to become normal again. So now we have a part that is a little bit under extruded. And let's take a look how this looks. So here I've got this part. This is the part that I printed and it's printed in 90% then lower down to only 70% of the extrusion value and then it's going back to the 90% again. And I know 90% is the correct value for my printer because I've already dialed my printer in in the correct way. But here you can see that there is a little bit less filament in the center part. And I'll show you what happens if, if you take this and you show this before a lamp. So here I'm holding the part in front of my LED panel and uh, when I'm holding it you can see that the center of this part is a little less thick. So there it's more shiny and it's more translucent. And uh, this is very funny because when we take a look at an, another angle we're not going to look through it but we're going to look on top of it. Then you can also see that indeed it's less thick. So uh, the 90% print was done uh, at the top and the bottom of this layer and then the 70% print was done in the center and you can see that it's really a little bit less thick. So this gives a good example of what happens when you set this extrusion value. But then it would be very nice to know how far can you go before it starts to get brittle. Well, the thing is, while printing, you can't really see this. It's going to get brittle, but the print will look, well, more or less good. Uh, to show you this, I've set the value from 90% to only 40%, and 
and then 19% again. And I'll show you guys the print. So here it's printing the walls. And now it's printing the part at 90%. So this is the good extrusion value for my printer. And it's building up the first 10 millimeters. And after it's done so, it's going to print at only 40%. And when this change happens, you can actually see it happen. You can see that you are, you are going to see right through the part. But it's still a nice print. So this is the point where it's going to happen. And now you are going to see right through the part. It will become a little bit translucent. And well, it doesn't look that brittle. That's the problem here. So it looks okay. And it looks as if it's very thin and very translucent. But it's still, well, it's, it's holding quite nice. But don't be fooled, because it isn't. Really, it isn't. I'll show you guys later. Because at this point, uh, the printer is taking over again with only 90% uh, uh, correction. So this is 90% of the uh, measured value or, or the, the calculated value for this print. And well, you can see that there is a part in the middle which is a little bit translucent. And here I have this part. So as you can see, it's really, it's shiny in the middle, it's translucent. And what happens if I'm going to put force on this? Yeah, we all know that uh, if it's brittle, it should break at that point. And well, let's apply some force to it. And let's see if we can break it. Yes, we can. And then you see this happening. There are multiple strings there. And multiple strings, that means that there is no good layer bonding. This bonding of this layer is really not that great. So I can break it open. And this means that the layer bonding there is really not that good. So 40%, it looked nice. Here, you can see the, the part where I didn't break it. And it really looks nice. But when you apply force to it, you will see you can break it. You can break it very easy. So this is a little bit too less filament. So now you know what the extrusion value or the extrusion multiplier in your slicing software does. And I, yeah, I urge you to experiment with it because this is going to make the difference between clicking noises on your extruder when it's trying to push more filament through the nozzle than it actually can do. Uh, this is also going to determine uh, if your print is strong or if it's weak. Uh, it's going to determine the looks and the, the, the gloss of your uh, printed part. So it's, it's really a very, yeah, a very uh, difficult setting, but you have to dial it in correctly. And well, after you've done so, you really get nice prints. Because this first print is as strong as can be. It's, it's really, it's very, very strong. So I know that 90% for me is the correct setting. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. I really need those thumbs ups to see if you like this video. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please do so. Subscribe to this channel. I'm slowly growing. I'm now over a thousand subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough because when you're growing with the channel, you can do more things. So I really need those subscribers. If you are subscribing to this channel, then also don't forget to hit the bell button. Because if you hit the bell button, then you will be notified every time I'm, I make a new video and I post this new video to YouTube. So please hit the bell button if you like to be notified uh, of new videos I make. Then also you guys can support me. You can do this on two different ways and the links are in the description down below of this video. The first way of supporting me is by a one-time donation. The one-time donation can be done through my PayPal and you can use the link in the description down below and then you can do a one-time donation uh, to buy me a cup of coffee and so, well, I'll be able to do nice things for this channel. The other type of donation is that I've set up a Patreon account and with this Patreon account you can support me on a monthly basis. And, uh, well, if you support me that way 
then you're really making a difference to this channel and this helps me a lot really it helps me a tremendous lot so i will thank all my patrons and all the people who don't done one-time donations thank you guys so much and i hope to see you all next week bye bye